Carter Carter here, uh, CTO at Now Micro. Um, what's in the lab today? I actually have a comparison between two Nook 11 units. Um, here I have the Nook 11 Panther Canyon system. I was able to get a pre-production sample prior to that release being pulled in North America. And I see a lot of questions online about like, what is it, you know, what's the differences, so on and so forth. So I'd like to answer that against a Tiger Canyon unit, which is the originally a commercial SKU, but it's being, um, I think sort of positioned as the replacement for North America and or uh, a pro unit. So um, these are both tall kits. Um, I also have a short version of this that we normally move, but I have a, a tall one here for our comparison. Um, the interesting thing about uh, the, the consumer oriented unit, Nook 11 unit, is that it has, this has the wireless uh, charging lid option. Um, it's just a normal lid that if we just pry carefully up top, we can see it's just attached and is a wireless charger lid. So that could be swapped out for, you know, something different, uh, you know, depending on what you wanted. Um, you know, the big difference between the units is actually the IO. So if we look at these, let's flip these around, maybe make it a little bit easier here. Um, you know, we have the still, you know, 19 volts input. Um, we have four outputs here, two HDMI and two um, USB-C slash uh, DisplayPort you know, with an adapter or a Thunderbolt directly to a Thunderbolt compatible monitor. Um, with the Panther Canyon unit, we see the uh, Display Port and then you know USB-C slash Thunderbolt and then HDMI. So we can only do three outputs on this, I believe. Um, you know, sort of other differences are the front ports. Um, you know, here we have the you know the headphone jack, which is usually absent from the commercial units, um, not a super, you know, highly used feature, and in fact moved from, removed from another consumer units this year. Um, and then, you know, single USB 3 with a Thunderbolt port in the front, which should support uh, video as well. And then we have just some USB ports on the front of the Tiger Canyon system. Um, you know, internally, uh, this is another interesting piece. screws out here. We can see, we open it very carefully, we can see that there is a, you know, ribbon cable for the two and a half inch drive support. Here we have the thermal uh, pad for the M.2 SSD that can be placed here. Other notable difference between a, you know, so commercial unit and a consumer unit is the Wi-Fi is actually on the board here. If I were to open up this unit here uh, fairly quickly, we'll see that this isn't actually an add-in adapter. So if you have a use case where you can't have wireless circuitry in the unit, obviously you'd want a uh, you know, more commercial oriented uh, Intel Nook device. Get that opened up. And again, we have a cable that we need to be careful with to you know, not rip and then we look inside here, we have a very similar layout, except for we have the ability to put um, another M.2 device in here. We have the full strength one here. And then there's a Wi-Fi chip or a little card underneath our M.2. So if I just pull out this SSD, we see our Wi-Fi card as well. So uh, definitely some notable differences here. I think this is uh, you know a great unit and you know, obviously the unit that we you know move a lot of and uh you know believe in um you know a little bit unfortunate this didn't make it to north america but otherwise um i don't think a huge loss from the you know uh, really neat, neat internals in this uh tiger canyon system thank you